another method of obtaining emergency water is through a young sapling. So this is an emergency method. This is not something that you're just going to go out there and just try for the fun of it. Why? Because it kills a tree. So your life needs to depend on it to do this sort of thing. I'm just showing you this because there's lots of them here and it's for demonstration purposes. But it does work and it works quite well, particularly if there are a number of saplings. As there's been many people that have died in the Australian bush because they couldn't get a drink of water when there's been saplings all about. So they are emergency methods only and they just shouldn't be used willy-nilly. So you really need to have some um, respect, some environmental consideration and you, your life needs to depend on it in order to do this. But it does work. So what I've done, I've just chosen a young sapling. Now it's very important to choose a sapling that has not got um, very defined growth rings because the, the water um, run will be much slower. We want to get something that's young, straight, and preferably with the smooth bark. So a lot of the, the, the eucalypts in this area, there's loads of these in this area, and they all have smooth bark. So this is what I'm going to show you. Now, I could choose a slightly thicker one and get a bigger yield of water, but there's no need for me to do that. I'm just going to show you how this works just on a small sapling. And what we're going to do, we're going to cut it down at the base, and then we're going to cut it at the top um, below the crown. Then we're going to tip it upside down, and of course through capillary action, the water's pumped up, um, drawn into the, uh, through the osmosis, through the, um, the roots, into the trunk, and it travels up the trunk, up the trunk, and like a transpiration bag, that the, uh, moisture, the, the moisture is dispersed into the atmosphere through the leaves. So what we're going to do, we're going to take the top of the crown off here, turn it upside down, we're going to be um, collecting the water that's trapped in the trunk. This method works better early in the day before the sun's strong because then we're not going to lose a lot of the water that's in here through um, um, evaporation and transpiration through to the atmosphere. So I'm going to make two cuts, one down low and then another one up high. Then we're going to cut them at 45 degrees. I'll batten those so that we get a nice 45 degree angle for the water to start running, and then we'll collect the water. Now I've also got some, some of my apparatus to be able to hang this um, ahead of time. We need to leave some branches on here, and that's important so that you've actually got something for the, the, um, the tree to lean on and, and stay upright so you can actually um, collect the water. I'm going to try, I need to cut this off before the top of the crown. So I'm going to cut this off about here. And I want to leave some of these long. So what I've done, there's our sapling. I've kept it horizontal because we're now going to go and, and, and stick this in a shady spot um, and let the water that's trapped in here drain out the bottom. I'm going to cut, it, cut both ends at 45 degrees and um, then we're going to be able to collect some water. So I'll do the first one now actually. Very important that it's 45 degrees. Having a flat spot for this is important. If you had an axe, you could use an axe, but I don't have an axe. I don't have an axe with me, so I'm going to batten with my knife. Very important, I need a 45 degree cut. 
it needs to be sharp. You can't use a saw because of, through capillary action, what happened is just, it's, um, it all it closes up the capillary, so we don't want that. It needs to be a nice, sharp cut. Wait a few seconds and that water is going to start dripping out. So it's important to have a tree selected prior to this. You can see that starting to drip out there. And that water, as long as it's clear, not milky and odourless, which this is, it's safe to drink and that's pure fresh water. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go over and, and suspend this and put this into our drinking cup and you'll see what sort of yield we get from this. Obviously a bigger sapling will give you a bigger yield. What I've done, I've set up an apparatus where I've got our sapling leaning vertical, vertically against a tree. And I've just made a, another notch with the top of this tree. And uh, just a, with a couple of v, v hooks, just so I can hook some of these long, um, these branches that I've left on. Ideally, we want to cut this before we get the crown, because there's actually little drops of water coming out of that. We don't want to do that usually, but I didn't want to, um, use a larger tree for this um, example because all you need to see is the principle and you can see water is now dripping out of these uh, these places here by cutting this off before the crown you only get all the water dripping out of the one spot which is exactly what's what we what you want to do you'd get a larger sapling but you can see this is all coming out here now and um, this water is drinkable straight up we might get about 200 mils from this small sapling, I'm guessing. Now what will happen, the drip rate of this is going to slow down. And as this slows down, what we're going to do, we're going to recut the both ends, probably about an inch at this end and probably about a foot at the top and keep on reducing the length of the sapling. And what's happening, because that's what's happening, all the water's running down to this end. So as the water's um, left the top part, which the top part, which was the bottom, that's going to drip towards here. We can get rid of that. So our, our sapling's going to get shorter and shorter until we're left right with this bit at the end and we're actually going to blow the remaining bit of water out of the sapling into the cup. So as the, the drip rate slowed down, what I need to do is recut this. So I'm going to recut the very tip at 45 degrees and recut the base. I'm going to probably take off about this much and recut that at 45. And what's happening, because all the water is now draining down towards this end. So I'm going to use my knife and the batten again. about here
having a solid base helps. This is uh, <laughs> ah, got a rotten log here. <laughs> Murphy's Law strikes again. So 45 degree cut and another 45 degree cut at this end. Now I can sharpen that so to a point. And all that water will keep out there. So we'll go and reset this up. So this is going into production again. The, the drip rate's increased and we will keep on doing that until we get about a, a, a length of the sapling about this long and then we're actually going to blow through it to force the remainder of that water out. That might take all of this you can do in about an hour, an hour and a half. So we'll keep on repeating this process until we get a short stick like this. I've just cut our sapling in half from what we last had. So a lot of this water's drained down to the end here. Now I'm going to put my mouth over the end and um, blow on this. Now I wouldn't do this with a toxic tree that's got alkaloids and things like this, but all, all eucalypts as we said and all acacias are fine for this, met, um, met this method. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to recut the end of that again. And I'm going to make a little bit of a mouthpiece at the end here. And I'm going to blow on this until the water production comes out. You'll see that it's going to use pressure to force that through. What I'm doing, I'm putting my mouth around here, trying to get an air type seal, keeping the corners firm. Being a trumpet player helps for this. Now I'm forcing the remainder of the water out. forcing that every little scary of water out of this.
but it's a bit of work <laughs> but I do have some water in there I'd say probably about 170 mils but we did lose some of that throughout through some of these side branches and also because I didn't wait long long enough just um, for the sake of the um, experiment but if you were to wait a, a little bit longer you'd get even more and this was a small sapling but the water we have from here so you can have a good look it's clear absolutely beautiful got a bit of bark there it doesn't come any fresher than that that is wonderful it just it's, it's just cool it's actually cool and um, it's clear it's got a beautiful it's got a slight eucalyptus taste to it but really beautiful it's absolutely it doesn't yeah it's just it's just completely fresh um, fresh clean water now of course that's not going to get you too far you're going to have to collect a lot of these saplings and you'd rig them up so you've got several sap saplings going into a larger mug than this if you can but you'd have to rig them up so that they're all you've got several saplings at once and you'll probably go for something a little bit thicker as well because then you're going to get a better yield and if you just diminish that by an inch each time particularly from the the, the lower end which is becoming the top end you'll find you just get a lot of that water draining down and then you can force it out um, blowing at the end but it works really well and um, I've got up to about 250 um, mils from one sapling doing this the key points are when you are is to have your apparatus set up first um, make sure that the branch is horizontal before you're um, setting it up and it needs to be in the shade because you don't want the evapor you don't want the um, the water that you're draining from a sapling to be evaporating out of your cup so you need to actually have the draining process done in the shade that's really really important but that in conjunction with our transpiration bag which we'll go and have a look at um, it too is a, is, a very, is a very effective way of getting water so how to get water from a sapling remember it needs to be a non-toxic tree so all acacias and all um, gum trees or eucalypts are great for this uh, method in Australia well I hope you've enjoyed this episode on how to obtain water using a transpiration bag and a young sapling if you like these videos please like and subscribe to the channel we also have a Facebook page and an Instagram page if you'd like to do one of our Bushcraft Survival Australia courses, go to our website www.bushcraftsurvivalaustralia.com.au. My name's Gordon Dedman, and thanks a lot for watching.